Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on quadratic models. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can solve real-world type problems using quadratic functions. Okay, so let's just take a look at a couple of problems here. Okay, example, this is similar to example 21. Mitchell throws a cactus cone. The cone's height above the ground after t seconds is given by this formula here. Okay. Um, a, find the height of the cone after four seconds. Okay, so it says after t seconds is given by the height. So t, in this case, is our x, right? And then the height is our y, uh, as to what we're used to anyway. Okay, so if it's four seconds, we're putting that in for t equals four, right? So we're going to do the height at four seconds. And really, you don't have to officially put this 4 in here, but this is just telling us the height at 4 seconds is going to equal. This 4 does not ever get calculated or multiplied or anything uh, by any other numbers. This is merely saying the height at 4 seconds will be. Okay, so a lot of people elect to just leave that 4 off so it doesn't confuse them. That's totally fine if you want to do that. Um, we do this negative 4. Our time is 4, so we put 4 squared plus 25 times 4 plus 6. Okay, so our height will then equal 4 squared is 16 times 4 is negative 64. 25 times 4 is plus 100 plus 6. So our height then will be, let's see, 64, negative 64 plus 100 is 36 plus another 6 is going to be 42. And this is height um, above the ground, and it doesn't actually specify, I should have specified, height above the ground, let's do this in feet, after t seconds is given by this, so, just check it in here, nope, doesn't say anywhere, so this is going to be 52, height will be 52 feet, okay, so B, find, so, uh, sorry, how long does it take for the cone to reach the ma its maximum height? So really, what's happening here is this will be a quadratic function that looks something like this here, right? <laughs> but a little bit more smooth of a curve. The max height here is going to be, um, let's see, it's asking actually how long. So the time here is the t is time and h is height. So what we want to do is we want to find the t of this quadratic. So guess what? That is simply going to be x equals negative b over 2a. It's the equation of the axis of symmetry, right? So in this case here, our x or our t time will equal negative, and let's see, our equation is this, so negative 25 all over 2 times a, which is negative 4. So this gives us that time equals negative 25 over negative 8. So then when we calculate that out, 25 divided by 8, because they're both negative, so it's going to end up being a positive 3.125 seconds. So time is going to equal 1, oops, 3.125 seconds. And that's going to be B. Okay? Um, let's see, let's take a look at uh, C here. Find the max height reached by the cone. Guess what? We just figured out what the t how long it takes to get to that. So all we do is plug our T into our equation and will give us our max height, right? So C is going to equal B H at 3.125. So let's we'll just leave that off to not confuse anyone. Negative 4 times 3.125 squared plus 25 times 3.125 plus 6. Okay, so we're just going to, I'm just going to plug that whole thing into our graphing, into our calculator, and away we go. So negative 4 times 3.125 squared um, plus, yep, it goes, make sure that when you push the plus uh, that it goes back down because some, some of your graphing calculators will just start adding the plus in the uh, exponent here, and we don't want that. So plus 25 times 3.125 plus 6. And we get 40.0625. So the height equals, um, let's do this, about 40 feet. That's pretty
pretty good chuck for a um, cactus cone. Okay, and then D, how long until the cone lands back on the ground? So basically, you've got, you can kind of look at this kind of somewhat as the path. And then we want to know when it gets back to the ground here. And that is along the x-axis. So that's when y equals 0. So we just plug a 0 in for our our height. So we want to know when, because we want to know when the height's going to be 0, right? So d equals 0. Um, sorry, not equals 0. Part d, 0 equals negative 4 t squared plus 25t plus 6. Now, you can try to factor this or one way to, to, to definitely get all of these, especially when you've got real world type problems, plug it into the quadratic. Just save yourself some, some pain and suffering and, and just have at it. So remember x equals negative b plus, oh, let's sing the song, x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That is the first and last time I will sing that for you. <laughs> um, anyway, so we now just plug stuff into the quadratic and then we are good to go. x equals negative, let's see, here's our b, negative 25 plus or minus the square root of 25 squared. That's a big one. Minus 4 times a is negative 4 times c, which is 6, all over 2 times our a, which is negative 4. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just really just going to plug this whole thing in, and away we go, right? So I'm going to just find out what's under the radical first. So let's do 25 squared minus 4 times negative 4 times 6 and that gives us 721 so we have x equals negative 25 plus or minus the square root of excuse me 721 not 2 oops wrong color 721 all over 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 okay so if we figure those out We've got, so let's do square root of 721. Second square root, 721. And we get 26.85, we'll call it. So negative 25 plus or minus 26.85 all over negative 8, right? So here's the thing. If we do 25 plus 26.85, that's going to be a positive number divided by a negative number. And that is going to be our height. So that means the height is below ground, and that would not make sense for what we're looking for. So what we want to do is just simply do the negative 25 plus, sorry, minus the 26.85 divided by negative 8. Just save ourselves some time. Okay, so negative 25 minus 26.85 equals, and then we're going to divide it by a negative 8. There, it did show up. Okay. And we get 6.48. So the height, uh, sorry, not the height. If that, sorry, why did I do that? This is all time. Time equals time equals. So the time equals, what would I say, 6.48? So we'll say time is about 6.5 seconds. Okay. Okay, um, there is another example, but I'm going to save that for video number two, okay?